A conspiracy theory explains events as the result of a secret plot by a powerful group of people, often without evidence. Conspiracy theories are found throughout science denial, pseudoscience, and fake news, as they're really the only way to explain why the vast majority of scientists and reliable sources don't agree with a narrative. But have you ever tried to keep a secret, especially a really juicy one? The larger a conspiracy grows, the more likely it is to collapse under its own weight. For example, faking the moon landing, which is believed by about 10% of Americans, would require hundreds of thousands to keep their mouth shut, and for decades. Would you keep that secret? Importantly, there are real conspiracies. For example, the tobacco industry did try to hide the health effects of their products to avoid regulation. And during Prohibition, the federal government did poison alcohol, killing thousands to discourage Americans from drinking. But there's a reason we know about these conspiracies, critical thinking and evidence. While we're all prone to falling for conspiracy theories, some are more vulnerable than others. Our brains are adapted to find patterns, but conspiracy theorists often have heightened patternicity or pattern detection, meaning they're more likely to connect invisible dots between unrelated events. Conspiracy theories offer comfort, simple explanations, and even someone to blame during tragic or uncertain times. Critical thinking, thinking seeks understanding through objective analysis, while conspiratorial thinking is fueled by motivated reasoning, where emotions and a desire to confirm existing beliefs lead people to cherry-pick information that reinforces their views and to dismiss evidence that contradicts them. Conspiracy theories are immune to evidence. All evidence is interpreted to fit the conspiracy, and there's always an excuse for evidence that doesn't fit. Missing evidence was covered up. Evidence that would disprove the conspiracy was planted. Hidden agendas and perceived motivations are taken as proof, but that's not how evidence works. Critical thinking is based on healthy skepticism or requiring evidence to accept claims, while conspiratorial thinking is based on a double standard. Official accounts are viewed with extreme suspicion, while dubious conspiratorial sources are accepted unquestioningly. Critical thinking is a rigorous process of objectively analyzing evidence to gain a better understanding, whereas conspiratorial thinking is a way of interpreting the world through a lens of suspicion and distrust to confirm pre-existing beliefs. Critical thinking is our best shot at uncovering real conspiracies, while conspiratorial thinking leads us away from the truth and foments distrust in experts and reliable sources of information. So don't fall down the rabbit hole. It's a trap. <laughs>